ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another live stream Saturday. I hope you guys had a good week this week and that, well, everything is going as planned for you. For this particular live stream, I'd say that things aren't going as planned for me because we've got lots of pictures to take a look at in Picture Corner. So I was trying to organize those right up to going live and actually I've still been doing that while that video was playing and uh, yeah not only that but there have been a lot of donations over on PayPal as well so I've just been trying to get organized with that working my way back to the last live stream because I do like to address every single donation because of course it has been my birthday it was my birthday yesterday and thank you guys for all of the birthday wishes and I will get through all of the messages and reply to everyone over on Patreon. It's going to take me quite a while to do that. So bear with me if I haven't uh, sent anything to you. And yeah, it, you, you've sent me birthday wishes, then I will get back to you. But yes, thank you guys for all of those uh, different comments and everything over on Patreon and YouTube and Instagram and all the different places. Let's look into the live chat room tonight, see who's in the house. We have one, two, three, rock child, uh, pink thistle. I think there was Gail P one, 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 two, uh, it's, it's gone too quickly. Okay. It's JT, Bev, Annika, uh, Darren, Dawn, Billy, Laura, Carl, Joy, uh, Bella, Adrenae, Five, Daisy, uh, Ackerman, Bev, Bob's in there as well. Uh, Billy, Tammy, Becky, uh, Rose in there. Oh, su oh, it says Super123 or something like that. But anyway, hello guys. Thank you for joining me tonight. I'm going to get the names of my patrons up on screen because they make this all possible in the first place. The foundation of everything that I do. So a massive thank you to you guys at the bottom of the screen. You know who you are. And what I'm going to do is get the likes goal up on screen. Again, I was, I was frantically trying to change this while that video was playing because we are going to be aiming for a new record tonight. We have hit a new record over the last probably few weeks, if not maybe over a month. We've been just having new record after new record, which means we're now at 460. That, that's the amount of thumbs up we are looking for. If you guys can hit the thumbs up as you come through the door, that would be very much appreciated because we're going to need every single thumbs up we can muster. And I can see already that we've had 214 likes, but if you guys can give a quick thumbs up, maybe get a spike of the lights going on, that would be good. I've just set up the screen capture so that it will, it will show on screen. It's a little bit wonky, but there we go. Uh, 217 likes so far. So still a long way to go, but a long way of the live stream to go as well. I just was typing in as well. I was doing this all while that song was playing. And that was my song, by the way, Haunted, from my album called Persistence. And you can grab that over at wingsofpegasus.com forward slash music. But yeah, we have the vote for tonight between Miles Away and Sweet Emotion. And that's myself and Chris Law on that one. But you guys can vote for that. I was very much just quickly looking over on Patreon to see which cover videos have been requested. And because I was doing everything so quickly, Sweet Emotion was there from the last live stream. And that one didn't win. So that one's a little bit of a rollover from the last live stream. I think Is This Love was the cover from the last live stream, uh, the White Snake classic. So yeah, a lot to get through tonight. And having said that, we have to address this happening. And that is the right number, 358,000 subscribers. So yeah, we've gone up by another thousand. Uh, which is amazing. So thank you guys for subscribing, hitting the thumbs up, hitting that notification bell as well. All of that cool stuff. And you will have to hit that notification bell to get notified for every video and the live streams as well. Now, I'm just going to get rid of this because yesterday I released a video just mentioning about this Telegram scam thing. And I did say to everybody, make sure that you tune into the live streams because this is where I get to interact with you guys live and I can tell you exactly what's going on and when and this telegram scam thing is a bit of a nightmare. I had um, another email 
today, like this afternoon, from somebody saying that they couldn't work out the Telegram thing in order to talk to me, and could I talk through how to set it up? And I think this is the problem with, I mean, it's it's good that the subscriber count is increasing, but the problem with that is the more subscribers that um, do subscribe, they might leave a comment and then get this whole Telegram thing and they don't know because they haven't been watching for very long. They don't know that it's a scam. So yeah, I just want to make sure that people don't fall into that trap. Hence that video yesterday. But just, you know, stay as switched on as possible. And like I said in that video yesterday, just imagine that I'm not replying to anybody in the comment section. That That's the best. That's probably the safest thing to do because these scam bots just instantly set themselves up again. Once I've reported a channel or that particular username, you know, telegram at wings underscore of underscore Pegasus. Once I report that, another one gets made instantly and it's just, I mean, it's a massive problem on, on YouTube. I don't know how they can't figure this out because there's pretty much always some kind of reference to telegram in either the channel or the comment or people asking them to talk to them on telegram. And I think YouTube should just have a block on the word Telegram, like in a username or in a, in a comment section, because that's the only time I've ever seen it being used is for this scam. So, yeah, I can't believe that it's that difficult for YouTube to stop a scam. I mean, it's been going for literally years. I remember the first time this happened was, yeah, about two years ago it was when it first happened. So, yeah, YouTube needs to buck their ideas up and try and sort it out because yes yeah, a massive pain and people are believing that you know it's not only my channel that suffers this scam bot impersonates lots of different channels so yeah it is it is a real problem but i'm not on telegram have never used it and uh, probably never will i haven't had the need to use whatever it is in the past and um, you know, I assume I won't need to use it in the future because I do everything here and over on Patreon as well. So yeah, just uh, try to look out for that. Be careful in that comment section and just don't trust everything uh, that you read in there. And again, my channel has a tick after the, the username and it's just Wings of Pegasus. And there's nothing fancy about the way that I've written it apart from just a capital W and a capital P, uh, Wings of Pegasus, as you would expect. So yeah, uh, try not to fall for any scams. Always be suspicious. That's uh, what I advise. So um, I can see that there have been a couple of donations in the Super, super Chat window. I just questioned whether that was what it was called, but it is the Super Chat window. So thank you for those. I will get into those in a second, but as I always say, you don't have to donate. Just watching is great. Maybe leaving a thumbs up would be cool. And yeah, you can subscribe if you want to, but yeah, just tuning in on the live streams is great as well. So thank you guys for doing that. But let me get the donations tab up on screen because I think it's important for those people that can't resist donating that between 45 and 60% goes to YouTube through the Super Chat window and between three and 5% goes to PayPal through the PayPal link. And you can find that in the description below. But first of all, Paul donated $5. So thank you for that, Paul. And the message was, Phil, wishing you a happy and wonderful birthday and uh, no, with continued success and growth. 358,000, yay. Light the candles and spike those likes all y'all. So thank you for that, Paul. And just a quick update or breakdown of what happened on my birthday. So it was actually a bit of a manic one because for my 40th, yeah, I'd say that that was quieter uh, than my birthday yesterday because yesterday, yeah, I, I spent it with my nephews and we played croquet. It was all a bit manic, but... I won the cro the croquet twice, <laughs> and that's with my nephew Jack. We yeah, kind of did uh, like pairs. So because I got three nephews, we could then do three pairs of two. And then we played laser tag, <laughs> which is because um, I got three nephews, and this is something that I got them for Christmas. So it means that I get involved with it and yeah run around the house and we're all trying to shoot each other but sometimes we do teams so yeah it was almost like 
I was back to being like 10 years old. <laughs> so yeah, uh, we like, like I said, it was manic. So we did that as well. Then had uh, Chinese food as well, um, as well as a cookie cake. And that's something that is, uh, yeah, <laughs> something that, that tends to happen every, every, every Christmas, every birthday now. And I was going to say at Christmas, the chocolate orange thing uh, happens. So I've got these couple of things that happen, but the chocolate orange thing that happens at Christmas has also happened on my birthday as well. So thank you to those people who have sent through things as well, because yeah, there's been a little bit of uh, chocolate orange action going on, even though it's normally only something that I have at Christmas is now apparently going to be a birthday thing as well. I'm trying to eat less sugar, but <laughs> I've been sent lots of stuff uh, that is, as you can Im imagine, uh, very high in sugar. And I mean, yesterday my nephews tried to help me with the cookie cake, but yeah, it was, uh, I think, something that is going to take a little bit of time to get through, especially since I'm trying to watch my sugar intake, but we will see. I'm thinking whether we should jump into picture recorder straight away just because there are so many pictures. And if I forget to do it later, uh, there's probably going to be hell to pay. So we might jump into Picture Corner immediately. Uh, when I say immediately, I know that it's 18 minutes past 11 here in the UK. So we're, what, 18, 19 minutes into the live stream. But uh, yeah, thank you for the donations. I will get into those, but I'm going to get through Picture Corner because otherwise, yeah, if I forget it, it's going to be a bit of a nightmare. So uh, let me get the picture corner up on screen with the music going on. And I'm just going to get the messages as well to follow these. So thank you, Laura, for linking me to the pictures. And I'm going to have to do some scrolling here in order to get to the top of where I should be. Right, and now as for the screen capture, we're going to have to see what happens with this. Sometimes it goes a bit wonky, and there it is. It has gone wonky again. So let me move this across here. Right, now, <laughs> this isn't really birthday related, uh, but because we were talking about the solar eclipse on the last live stream, uh, this is something that Steve has sent through, and this is me uh, sitting in front of the solar eclipse. Obviously, it's not to scale, because I'm not that big in real life. But uh, thank you, Steve, for sending that in. And I think the message was just, here's Phil in front of the solar eclipse from Steve. Oh, and by the way, where can I grab this from? Um, I'm going to try and grab a picture of my cookie cake. And there it is. So this is something I did remember to do before starting the live stream. Getting the cookie cake up on screen. And by the way, this is something that Bev and Anna sorted out. And yeah, hence the reason for me having a cookie cake yesterday. So yeah, very, very many thanks for you. And thanks from my nephews as well, who helped me have a little bit of it. But I would say that I'm halfway through, or well, we're halfway through, uh, because obviously my family had, uh, I'd say, I don't know, I think I've probably had most of it, but my family had a good go at uh, getting to at least halfway through. So now I've got half of this cookie cake left that I'm going to try and work my way through. It will probably last me a very long time. But yes, thank you, Bev and Anna, for sorting that out. Right, where are we next? We have Kevin. And obviously this isn't Kevin, this is Kevin's picture. And Kevin has his uh, Terry's chocolate orange. And is it a toffee one? It might look like it. And it does indeed say it with the message. Uh, the message from Kevin said, happy birthday, Phil, enjoying a Terry's chocolate orange with toffee. And he's got the wings of Pegasus mug there as well with the live stream in the background. So, if you guys want to get your hands on any of the merchandise, then you can do. There's a tray underneath this video. And what I'm going to do is get rid of that and get myself back up, up on screen to give it a plug of the mug. But also, because I know that when I did the background music for Picture Corner, that goes on for about three minutes or three and a half minutes. So it means that the 
the music would run out and then things would go out of sync and I don't know exactly what's going to happen. So it means we're going to be jumping back into Picture Corner because then I can start up playing the guitar again from the beginning. So, uh, by the way, yeah, tray underneath this video for any of the merchandise t-shirts, mugs, hoodies, all that cool stuff. If you don't see the tray underneath this video, then there's a link in the description below to the spring.com store. But let's get back into Picture Corner again. And... Let's go to the next one, which is from Pamela. And Pamela has sent through these two kittens uh, playing, well, one playing guitar and one laying down a vocal. So thank you for this. It says happy birthday to you. So the message with that just said, happy birthday, Phil. Have an awesome day. So thank you for that, Pamela. And the next one has been sent through from Lucy. So thank you for this, Lucy. We've got some rock horns going on there. And the message with this was, sending wishes to Phil. He had a, oh, sending message, no, sending wishes to Phil that he had a Phil-tabulous, Phil-tastic, rocking birthday. Uh, so thank you for that, Lucy. <laughs> I got there in the end with reading that one out. Uh, then the next one's come through from Joe, and Joe says, Happy birthday, Phil. You can see the rock horns going on there. Next one we have is from, I think, Debbie and Tammy. The, oh, well, yeah, you can see it there. I I'm looking at them um, somewhere else. You can see my little arrow here. I was looking at another screen in order to get that, but the message is, Happy 41st birthday to our favourite rock star, Phil. With all our love, always, Debbie and Tammy. Uh, so thank you for that. And next up, we have Karen, who has sent through this picture. So thank you for that, Karen. And let me try and read this. It says, Happy birthday, Phil. Rock on, Phil. And I... I think that's Chipper saying that. And underneath it says, Hope your birthday rocks. May all your wishes come true. With love, the wingers and Chipper. So thank you for that, Karen. And next, and last but by no means least, we have this picture that's been sent through from Bob. And this is Bob's cake uh, that he has made. So thank you for this, Bob. And the message with this was, just finished this cake in honor of Phil's birthday. So, uh, there we have it. Those are the pictures. So, yeah, an early entry into Picture Corner for tonight. But thank you guys for sending all of these pictures in and for the birthday wishes. Uh, they are much appreciated. And if you guys want to get involved yourselves, if you're a Facebook user, you can head over to the Wings of Pegasus supporters group over on Facebook, you can join in with that page, and that's where these pictures have been uploaded to, and then Laura links me to the pictures so that I can see them and kind of save them, get them into the software and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, it's been <laughs> very busy organizing the live stream for tonight because there's a lot of stuff going on, but we did get through all the pictures, so that's one thing ticked off the list. I am just gonna jump back into the super chat window because there's another donation that came through from Mia for 3,000 pesos, I think this is, in Argentina or something like that. And it's their first donation on uh, through the Super Chat window. So thank you for that, Mia. And I double checked and I had it clarified that 3,000 pesos is, I'm not sure, two pounds or three pounds. So I panicked. When I saw that uh, number, because I thought, has somebody accidentally put in a number? Uh, because on YouTube, as I say in the live streams, because they instantly take between 45 and 60%. Imagine if that was 3,000 pounds, they would potentially take 60% of your money that you've accidentally typed in. And there's, there's no way that you can get that back. And YouTube very clearly say that as soon as you donate, donate anything, they take their cut instantly. So it's something that I wouldn't be able to refund. So, uh, but thank you Mia for that. I think that conversion is correct. So um, yeah, the message is, hi Phil, hope you had 
a great birthday. If you don't mind me asking, how did you celebrate it? By the way, thanks for everything you do on your channel. Greetings from Argentina. So thank you for that, Mia. And I've been through what I did. So that is a... Uh, what do they call it? Um, when you predict the future or you can see the future, I know that they were called in Minority Report, they were called precogs. The people that could see the future. So there you go. I, I did a bit of a, a precog thing there by answering the question before it was asked. Uh, but thank you for that, Mia. And Byron has donated $49.99. Thank you for that, Byron. And the message is, Thanks for Eagle's video analysis. So, uh, yeah, no problem at all. And that was Byron's fifth um, donation in the Super Chat window. So thank you for that because we get a big, a big five on screen. And, uh, I mean, yeah, that Eagle's video that I did, yeah, it's been watched quite a lot of times. I think there's over 300,000 views now. But it is something that seems to have got out there quite a lot and potentially not really started a debate because I mean the reason that I do the videos the way that I do them is that I'm backing up what I'm saying I'm giving proof and I know that a lot of other people uh, have uh, you know said about my video in their videos and uh, you know either related to it and I think somebody I didn't have a, I didn't have time to check this but somebody emailed saying that I think it was Eddie Trunk um who I think, yeah, not. I don't think he's that well known here in the UK, but I think he might be well known over in the USA. Uh, but he mentioned, well, I say he mentioned about my video. I think somebody said that he mentioned about the whole lip syncing thing, but didn't actually say that I had done it. So, um, yeah, I, I didn't get a credit for that. But, you know, I don't mind it if people are talking about it. You know, that's, they don't have to, yeah, you know, credit my video. But the reason that people I think are talking about it and are talk like he was saying about it now, effectively being a fact that it's happening. And the reason that I think people can talk like that now is because with my analysis video, I cover all of all of the bases that I make sure that everyone can see the data and how to interpret the data. So that rather than saying or lots of people saying or speculating that it might be happening, I, I think it's important just to show everybody the objective data because then you can say with you know, a high degree of confidence that it is happening. So it means that, yeah, people like Eddie can then do a video and then say himself that, oh, the Eagles, and, and it's almost like they're breaking the news to their, fo their followers or subscribers or whatever, saying that the Eagles are now um, lip syncing. And he can say that with confidence because he's seen my video. So, yeah. But then again, it wouldn't stop people from maybe commenting on his channel or, you know, I don't know if he's on YouTube or, or um, kind of what his website is or how he does things. But, you know, people might then say, oh, you can't prove it. It's just your opinion, all that kind of stuff. And then he would have to probably uh, reference my video so that people could check uh, the objective data and w where it comes from and where all these things come from that people are now quoting and referencing. But anyway, with that, there are a few things that have happened um, with regard to that Eagles video. And yeah, I'm, I'm more than happy to talk about people, talk about what I'm... <laughs> demonstrating in the video with people uh, because I said last time that Ryan Roxy had been in touch and um, you know, I've said that I'm more than happy to go and you know um, be on his show which is uh, In the Trenches is, is the name of his podcast but just to talk about live performances and, and backing tracks and lip syncing and pitch correction auto-tune all these different things yeah I'm more than happy to you know, explain it to people if, if they need it explained uh, but also the video that I did, I also did a backup video to it, or a follow-up video to really show people exactly what I'm talking about, because there were still some people that didn't really understand the detail that I go into. Now, interestingly, there's going to be another video tomorrow night, and this isn't on the Eagles, or, or it isn't really anything directly to do with it, other than... The only thing that I haven't covered with the videos is, I always say that 
singing over lines. So on the pitch monitoring software, when you record a vocal, if you try and sing that vocal exactly the same way every time, you will never be able to get the lines on the vocal pitch monitor to go over each other. The only way you can do that is by playing the same audio file, which is the whole point of that previous video. So it does kind of link in with the Eagles, but tomorrow night there's going to be a video that dives into that. So, you know, for the because some people do comment and say, oh, how do you know that somebody can't do it? Somebody might be able to do it. How do you know that they can't do it? So, uh, yeah, tomorrow night I'm going to be taking uh, an example of a singer that a lot of people will be very fam familiar with. And this particular singer sings the same thing six times. And we get into the details to see if it is possible for a singer to sing perfectly over lines and just to see what happens when this particular singer is in a studio and they're trying to sing the same thing six times over. Um, but you'd have to tune in tomorrow night to see the results. But, you know, if you watch my channel, then you'll already know the answer because I've already told everybody the answer <laughs> that it's impossible. But uh, it's going to be a good showcase of that very point because it's going to be someone who, yeah, is very 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 well known for being really accurate pitch wise and yeah it's probably you know one of one of the ultimate singers that there ever has been for pitch especially in the studio so yeah tune in for that video tomorrow night uh, i'm going to release that or aim to release that at 8 p.m greenwich mean time uh, that's generally when i aim for my video releases on a sunday a wednesday and a friday but I am just going to get back to these donations because David donated $5 as well. Thank you for that, David. The message is, hi, Phil. I like flat wound guitar strings. Do you have flat wound guitar strings or oh, strings on your guitars? So uh, thank you for that, David. And no, it, I mean, this is something I've, have I been asked this before on a live stream? I've definitely answered this, whether it be in, in an email or something on YouTube or whether it was a live stream. But um, no, I haven't. So yeah, it's not something that I, I think I've just done things exactly the same way since I was, I don't know, probably 12 or 13. And yeah, I've, I've um, never got into flat, flat wound strings, but I, I think it's just kind of what you're into and whether, whether you prefer, you know, the sound, the, the tone, it's, it's, it's all up to everybody individually as the strings, what, what they like, you know, same thing with you know, the gauge of string as well, playing with heavier strings or lighter strings. And um, I, I do say that a lot of that is to do with your own genetics and your physiology. And if you don't have big hands, then you might want to go for a, a lighter string gauge because of playability. Um, and, you know, if you do have very uh, big hands uh, and, you know, strong hands, then, <laughs> then if you want to go for heavier strings, then you can do. But, you know, I, I'm always gonna be one of these players because of my hands that, that plays with with lighter gauge strings uh, I don't particularly go really heavy apart from I think on my practice guitar I have maybe 11s on there just because I want them to last for a very long time uh, just because it, it I'm you know not particularly bending the strings very much it's just for practice really um, but anyway yeah that's something um, that I haven't um, ever experimented with uh, flat wound strings but thank you for that David another one's just popped in from Karen so thank you for that Karen and it's a donation of ten dollars and the message is uh, thanks so much for all you do it's much appreciated consider this just a donation towards anything that you're going to want forward slash need to purchase. Happy birthday. So thank you for that, Karen. Right. I am going to get into the PayPal donations and I think there have been quite a lot of these. So what's the time? 36 minutes past 11. Ah, let's just give a quick shout out to that likes goal. We're aiming for 460 tonight. So if you could hit that thumbs up, that'd be massively appreciated. We're looking for 88 more that's i think that might be wrong but that's the name that pop the name <laughs> that's the number uh not the name that's the uh, name and number that popped into my head uh, just there so 372 which means that we're 12 away from 100 i think it is 88 so even though it, i was very confused i think that number was correct if you could hit that thumbs up it'd be massively appreciated if 
we do hit that target, we're going to be having Phil Jam number 159 for tonight. So, yeah, we'll have a jam at the end of the live stream if we hit that target, as always. So, yeah, I'm going to have to get through these donations because... Beatrice donated £7.55. Uh, thank you for that, Beatrice. This is right at the end of the last live stream. So this would have been Wednesday. But thank you for that. That was a straight up donation. And then Anastasia donated £10. Thank you for that. And the message was, happy birthday, Phil. A little bit early, wishing you a festive day and a picture of a cookie and fulfilling year. Annika. Uh, so thank Oh, thank you for that, Annika. And uh, even though it does say Anastasia, but yeah. <laughs> thank you for that. £10 donation. Uh, and then Tammy donated £200. Um, so thank you for that, Tammy. And uh, let me know if that was an accidental thing. Uh, we can sort that out, no problem. But thank you for the donation. The message is, happy birthday, Phil. I hope this year will be filled with nothing but love, happiness and great success for you. You've worked hard and you deserve the best of everything. Love you and lots of pictures. Uh, so thank you for that, Tammy. And Nicole has donated £40. Uh, so thank you for that, Nicole. And the message is, dear Phil, with all the followers, I wish you a wonderful birthday. Here's what you need but two, but a good cake, not too sweet. Have a good time, Phil, with your family. We love you. Kiss from France and above all, rock ever. Uh, so thank you for that, Nicole. And then, oh, that's reminded me. That email from PayPal just said, we've noticed a login from an unregistered device or something like that. And... I've managed to get my phone, a new phone. And what's happening with phones now is when I was younger and at college and university, phones were getting smaller and smaller and smaller. Now they're getting bigger and bigger and bigger. <laughs> so it's just going the other way. But anyway, I've now got a new phone. So the battery lasts for the whole day, which is great. And yeah, I managed to actually, it took me quite a long time, um, probably a few hours to get it, get it organized. But for other things that will be happening in the future to get organized, I needed uh, two other phones because I think this is the problem that I've had is that now things are absolutely super crazy on YouTube and with emails and all that kind of stuff and people wanting to contact me um, for potential projects and all that kind of stuff. Then having it all on uh, all on one phone is a bit of a pain because that's the only number I've ever had. So it means that I'm getting, you know, sales calls from companies who, you know, that I might have bought something two years ago and they want me to now get insurance on it because then it will cover it for five years and all this kind of stuff. So I'm getting calls on my phone like that, which, which is really annoying because it because the business calls are potentially a call that I have to answer because I know that it could be a business type call. But when I then answer it and it's somebody asking me about, you know, they're always trying to sell you something and they won't take no for an answer. And yeah, it's just annoying to get those kind of uh, things through. But anyway, yeah, this is why I've got uh, two other phones uh, that I organized because I thought I've got to <laughs> just do this so that now, from now onwards into the future, I have what's more of a business line so that uh, all the projects in the future uh, that I'm currently putting together at the moment, I can then at least, yeah, know that if that it's like the bat phone if that phone rings i know what it's going to be because nobody else has that number other than the people that uh, want to contact me for business related things so anyway that was good i managed to sort that out uh, this week so um anyway let's get back into the paypal window because dawn donated 45 pounds and 79 pence so thank you for that dawn and the message was happy birthday phil i hope your day is as amazing as you are so uh, thank you for that, that dawn and yeah uh, i'd say that the day was even better uh, because the, if you say the day wasn't as amazing as i am yeah uh, not a cool thing to say i know that confidence is a good thing but I think there's always a line that can be drawn. Uh, but thank you for that, Dawn. 
And Lisa W has donated £10 as well. Thank you for that, Lisa. And that is a straight up donation. And Tracy has donated £50 as well. Thank you for that, Tracy. The message is, happy birthday, Phil. I hope your birthday was fun. I think this is going to be a bit a busy but eventful year for you. Love you lots, Tracy. Uh, so thank you for that. I mean, yeah, it's already been quite a busy one, but we'll keep on pushing forward, see where we end up. And Liz has donated uh, £25, so thank you for that. And Elizabeth says, happy birthday, Phil, and then puts lots of pictures in there of balloons and cakes and, and party poppers and all that kind of stuff. So uh, thank you for that, Liz. And this is Liz W or Elizabeth W. And we've because now we're getting, we've had the Lisas uh, with the first letter of the surname. Previously, that was Liz R. And now we have Liz W, uh, who's donated 15 pounds and 26 pence. So thank you for that, Liz. And the message is, happy birthday, Phil. Pizza fund with a smiley face. So, yeah, thank you for that. And by the way, I had Chinese yesterday and tonight I had Chinese again because there was quite a lot. And I can exclusively reveal that tomorrow night I'm going to be having Chinese as well because there's that much left. So, yeah, we went a bit crazy with the amount of food that we ordered yesterday. But, yeah, it's going to last me for a very long time. Uh, so thank you for that, Liz. So, yeah, I'll keep that in the pizza fund. But I think I'm going to be done with fast food for quite a while, considering that this is technically two days of fast food and then the third day to follow. Lara has donated 19 pounds and eight pence. So thank you for that, Lara. And that is a straight up donation without a message. And oh, another one's come through from Lara straight afterwards for 15 pounds and 26 pence. So thank you for that. And this had a message with it. And it says, happy birthday, Phil. Hope you have a great one. This goes with the previous donation. So thank you for that. And Denise has donated £50. Thank you for that, Denise. And that is a straight up donation as well. Dawn has. And I know that we've. <laughs> okay, so I know that we had Dawn earlier. And now we've got uh, Dawn McSee, uh, who has donated £7.63. Uh, so thank you for that. And the message is Happy birthday, Phil. Peace and love, Dawn. So thank you for that. And Connie has donated £19.83. And I see what you've done there, Connie. Thank you for that donation. The message is, happy birthday, Phil. Keep celebrating. Peace, love and rock, Connie. So thank you for that. And Leslie has donated £40. Thank you for that, Leslie. And the message is, happy birthday, Phil. Wishing you a great year ahead. It's well deserved for all your hard work and for this great community that you have created. So... I mean, it's, uh, I, I always think that it's not really me that's created anything, it's you guys, because without you guys, there wouldn't be a community. All you guys in the live chat room at this very second, you have to be there to be there. Uh, so thank you guys for tuning in and just joining me on the channel, uh, because it's great to be able to uh, share the live stream time with you, because, yeah, going back, what? maybe seven or eight years ago I was doing the live streams and I know that maybe we had two or three people and I'll just say hi guys <laughs> to those two or three people that were there but I've pretty much just always done the same thing and it's great that um, a few more people have got involved and uh, that's probably a bit of an understatement uh, considering where we are with the channel but it's always the same ethos and and the same way that I approach every video that I make it is literally just one person who has requested an analysis of that particular performance or that particular vocal and that's what I do and it just so happens that yeah a few more people watch it but I'm, I'm just making the video really for that one person so yeah that, that's uh, how it's always been and how I will continue in the future but thank you for that Leslie and Johanna has donated £50 as well. Thank you for that. And the message is, happy birthday, Phil. And Linda has donated £22.89. Thank you for that, Linda. The message is, have a very nice birthday. Congratulations on 358,000 subscribers. And thanks for the scam alert. Uh, so thank you for that, Linda. No problem at all. And yeah, I mean, it's, it's just a bit of a pain that it keeps on happening. But if, if I start getting 
lots of emails about it, then I, I think I'm probably just going to make a video on YouTube to tell everybody about it again, because I think the first time I did a video about it, it helped, and people then were aware of it, but because that wasn't well, I think it was maybe a year ago, so it wasn't a recent video that I've made on, on that whole scam thing. So, yeah, uh, this is to cover kind of the newer subscribers to let them know that the Telegram thing is a scam. But thank you for that, Linda. And Janice has donated £100, so thank you for that, Janice. And the message is, hello, Philip. May you get what's coming to you on your birthday. So thank you for that, Janice. And this might be in relation to something that... I mentioned before about <laughs> yeah one of my students who I was teaching guitar it was my birthday and uh, he said uh, I hope you have a great birthday and I hope you get what's coming to you so uh, we both laughed because as soon as he said it he realized that it sounded a little bit more aggressive than he was intending because he just wanted to wish me a happy birthday but thank you for that Janice Gail has donated £50 as well. So thank you for that, Gail. And the message is, happy birthday, Phil. Thank you for the happiness you bring. Best G. Uh, so thank you for that, Gail. And Kelly has donated £11.12. and So thank you for that, Kelly. And the message is, happy birthday. And Debbie has donated £100. Thank you for that, Debbie. And the message is, hi, Phil. Happy birthday. Just a little something to wish you a great year ahead. This donation is not a mistake. Laugh out loud. Loved the Carol King analysis video this week. Nice job. You're amazing. Love you, Debbie. Uh, so thank you for that. And I'm just going to see when that's come through. Okay, that was Friday at half past eight in the evening. So we're getting closer to tonight. Uh, but a lot of donations have come through. Again, you don't have to donate. But Thank you guys for these very kind donations. Uh, I will continue to get through them. I think we've still got a lot more to go. So this has come through from Terry. It's a £50 donation. So thank you for that, Terry. And that is a straight up donation. Uh, Rosemary has donated £76.44. And that's a straight up donation as well. Thank you for that, Rosemary. And Donna Leah has donated £10 as well. Thank you for that, Donna Leah. And the message is, here's wishing you a very happy birthday and thank you for all the wonderful music you share with us. So, yeah, thank you for that. And uh, no problem at all. This is 3.48 this morning, so we're getting closer. And Amy has donated £5 as well. Thank you for that, Amy. That is a straight up donation. Lisa W has donated £7.64. Again, thank you for that, Lisa. The message is happy birthday. Hope you enjoyed your day and had some cake. So yes, I did indeed enjoy it and had cake. Uh, thank you, Laura, as well, who has donated £150 uh, and says happy birthday, Philip. So uh, yeah, thank you for that, Laura. And uh, yeah, for linking me to the pictures for Picture Corner, all that cool stuff. Quick look into the... Lycometer window 400. It almost got to 420. I'm kind of waiting, but that means we're looking for 41 more people to hit that thumbs up. If you could do that, it means we're going to be having a lot a live stream jam. I was, I was going to say a jam at the end of the live stream, but the live stream is <laughs> moving on. It's 10 to 1. It's 10 to midnight. I'm still stuck in when we used to do the live streams on the wrong day. It was technically Wednesday, but it would be Tuesday night. My my brain subconsciously always says, even though I can see it's quite clearly 11.50, my, my brain, I suppose I, I did live stream for years at that time. So it's just using that or losing, but it's using the, the muscle memory of the brain or the subconscious brain. It's the same as it's interesting because it's the same as the muscle memory in your arms and your hands. When you're playing a particular guitar line, if you keep doing the same thing over and over and over again, your hand will keep on doing that. And it's the same thing for the subconscious that when you start talking about something and you've said something so many times, your mouth will actually say something that you're not even thinking because it's so used to saying it. So anyway, yeah, it's now 10 to midnight here in the UK. We're going to be pushing on with things to make sure we fit everything in. But thank you for that, Laura. Moving on, Linda Z has donated 41 pounds. So thank you for that, Linda Z. And the message is, even though it's next to impossible for me to attend your live streams ever since you moved the time back an hour, please 
no, I'm always there in spirit. Happy birthday, my friend. I believe in all you do, Linda Z. Uh, so thank you for that. And again, that's one of those precog things. So I've now done that twice in a live stream. The somebody's message is referring to something that I've just said. So yeah, the live streams used to be at a different time. And Linda Z uh, then comes in with that donation. Maybe I should play the lottery or something if I'm doing things before they're happening. Could be a good time to do it. But Bonnie has donated 20 pounds as well. Thank you for that, Bonnie. The message is, happy birthday, Phil. Sorry, I can't be at the live stream, but rock on wingers. If you're watching this on catch up in the future, hello, uh, you can still hit that thumbs up. It really does help this live stream to get out there and for the channel to grow on the whole. But thank you, Bonnie. And hello, Bonnie, if you're watching this in the future, thank you for that donation. And Lee has donated £30, so thank you for that, Lee. And this is a straight-up donation. And Lucy has donated £38.22. Thank you for that, Lucy. And the message is, hope you had a fantastic birthday. Treat yourself to something special. And thank you for the fabulous videos and live streams. So thank you for that, Lucy. Evelyn has donated £25 as well. Thank you for that, Evelyn. The message is, happy birthday. Rock on. And Barbara has donated £20. Thank you for that, Barbara. And the message is, hello, Phil. Hope you had a wonderful birthday. Did you have Chinese... Uh, or did you have your Chinese meal? And maybe some cookie cake. Cheers, Barbara. So, affirmative and affirmative. Uh, so thank you for that, uh, Deborah. And Billy has donated £100. Thank you for that, Billy. Uh, the message with this is, happy birthday, Phil. I wish you much happiness and success. So thank you for that. Joe has donated £50 as well. Thank you for that, Joe. And the message is, happy birthday, Phil. And thanks for 127 great lead guitar lessons. The polka one doesn't count. Cheers. Uh, so thank you for that, Joe. And yeah, thank you for uh, sending the tracks my way. Um, every single live stream so that we actually can have the fill jam in the first place. Thank you, Colleen, as well, who has donated £41.28. And, and Colleen says, Hippo Birdie to you. Uh, so thank you for that, Colleen. And that's Hippo spelt like the animal, and Birdie like when you shoot one under in golf. By the way, the Masters is on, and I haven't been able to. Uh, see a little bit of that uh, but yeah hepo birdie 2 as in t-w-o and then u e u e w e so a bit of a play on words there clean but thank you for that and maria has donated three pounds and 82 pence as well so thank you for that and the message is happy but later birthday phil hope you had a lovely day and deborah has donated 11 pounds and 47 pence. Thank you for that, Deborah. That is a straight up donation. Howard has donated 11 pounds and 47 pence. Thank you for that, Howard. The message is birthday is celebrated with family is very special. And so are you. Happy birthday, Phil. So thank you for that, Howard. And Karen has donated three pounds and 82 pence. Thank you for that, Karen. And the message is happy birthday, Phil. Celebrate the special person you are. May your birthday wishes come true and congrats on hitting 358,000 subscribers. Maybe that number will double by your next birthday. Laugh out loud. Cheers and more cheers, Karen. So uh, I'm always a very reserved with the subscriber count. Going up by a thousand is amazing. And we, yeah, whatever happens, happens. But I'm not expecting things to go uh, crazy. But uh, yeah, it always kind of goes in peaks and troughs. So yeah, we're just hitting a bit of a peak at the moment, but things I'm sure will slow down. But thank you for that, Karen. And Rebecca has donated 20 pounds as well. Thank you for that, Rebecca. And the message is, happy birthday. Since musicians don't receive tips in the UK, consider this a tip for all the enjoyment you give us through your videos and live streams. May the year be amazing. So thank you for that, Rebecca. Laura has donated seven pounds and 64 pence. So thank you for that, Laura. And the message is 41st birthday wishes for best year ever for you, Phil. Uh, so thank you for that, Laura. And there's been another, another donation that's come through and it's uh, for 10 pounds. Uh, so thank you for this. Now this is showing as a bit of a different one. Ah, but at the bottom it does say 
that it's from Tracy. So thank you for this, Tracy. It doesn't have a message with it, but that is a straight up donation. Thank you for that. And Dina has donated 15 pounds and 29 pence. Thank you for that, Dina. And the message is happy birthday, Phil. And I mean, we're getting a little bit closer to tonight. This is 12 minutes. Would this have been 12 minutes past 11 into the live stream? It might have been. Uh, this is from Kim. So thank you for this, Kim. And it's a £10 donation. The message is, hey, Phil, happy birthday. Do you have a favorite birthday memory ever? If so, what is it? If you're willing to share, best as always, Kim. Uh, so thank you for that, Kim. And quickly trying to think. I think the main things that stick out to me are Christmas times, uh, not particularly birthday times. So, oh, one thing just popped into my head. I went to see Tottenham Hotspur play football, uh, which was, yeah, like an amazing thing for me as a kid to go to the stadium. That was White Hart Lane back then. And that was, yeah, a, a really a cool experience because I've, I've never been to a football match, um, especially with, like you know, what, 30,000 people. So, yeah, that was that was amazing. And what I remember from that is when... At half time, I then needed to go to the bathroom. And while I was in the bathroom, obviously there's like a queue because there's like 30,000 people. Obviously, it's not one toilet, but there's lots of toilets. Um, but I don't know. We call them toilets here, but I know that you call them bathroom maybe in, in the USA and in other countries. But anyway, so bathroom forward slash toilet. There are lots of those in the stadium, but everyone's queuing and stuff. So while I was there, when I was away on the screen, my parents had paid to have a message because you have like birthday messages and messages for people that kind of go across the screen. So they're paid to have a message saying happy birthday to me, but I didn't see it because, <laughs> uh, because I was away waiting to use the bathroom. So that's a memory that I have. Obviously I remember the football match, but my parents told me that I'd missed the message. So uh, there you go. That's that's life, I guess. But that's one that I certainly remember uh, that stood out. Uh, yeah, going to watch Tottenham Hotspur. Right. Uh, thank you for that, Kim. And Vera has donated £38.22. and pence. Thank you for that, Vera. And the message is, Phil, I wish you the very best birthday ever. Wishing you continued happiness, success and all things great and good. Big birthday hugs from Virginia, USA. Love you. So thank you for that, Vera. And Bob has donated £100. Thank you for that, Bob. And the message is, happy birthday, Phil. Thank you for bringing this community together. It is a very special place. And like I've already said, thank you guys for, for making the community in the first place. Right, I think we've got nine more to go. At least that's what it says um, on my screen. So we're going to jump into the cover video for tonight, which is going to be Sweet Emotion by the looks of things. Let me bring that to an end, the poll at the top of the live chat room. So we'll jump into this. And we're looking for 11 more people in the live chat room to hit the thumbs up. If you could do that, that would be great. Because then we'll jump into a jam at the end of the live stream, which is going to be probably in about 10 minutes. If we can squeeze everything in. So let's jump into uh, this cover of Sweet Emotion by myself and Chris Law. I hope you guys enjoy it. And I'll see you guys after. Rock. One, two, three, four. Talk about this. 
And there we have it. That was Chris and I with our attempt at Sweet Emotion by Aerosmith. Right, so just quickly jumping back into the PayPal window, we have actually hit the goal for tonight. That's another new record for a Saturday night live stream. 460 likes, which is amazing. So thank you guys for hitting that thumbs up and getting us there, uh, which means we will have a jam once we've got through the donations on PayPal. And I think that there have been a few more over in that Super Chat window as well. So we will get through those. We'll be having the Phil Jam uh, in yeah a very short time. But thank you for this donation that has come through from... Um, we had Bob, but then Rene, who donated £5. Thank you for that, Rene. And the message was, happy birthday. Uh, Selena donated £15 and says, happy birthday, Phil. I hope you've had a great day. So thank you for that. And there's been a donation from Melinda for £50. So thank you for that, Melinda. And that is a straight up donation. Kim has donated £30 and 58 pence. Uh, that is a straight up donation as well. So thank you for that, Kim. And we've had a donation from R it's L E F E B V R E. Uh, so thank you for, <laughs> for I don't know how to pronounce that, uh, but thank you for that donation. The message is Hi Phil, have been wondering how did you choose your rock name Wings of Pegasus? Is it the flying horse? or the wings, or the mythology that you identify with. You could be like Sting, or Cher, or Slash, or Phil. Do tell. Uh, so thank you for that. And it's just a, a name that I came up with, and I have said that maybe my subconscious being a fan of Winger, the band, maybe that played a part in it, but I thought Wings of Pegasus just sounded like a uh, you know, a hard rock kind of 80s band name type thing. So I wanted it to, I don't know, resonate with the, the style of music so that you might know what you're going to get before uh, you even listen to it. So that is just the thinking. So yeah, just came up with it. But yeah, as to whether people call me Wings of Pegasus, I haven't had that before. Most people call me Phil from Wings of Pegasus. But uh, they can call me Wings of Pegasus uh, if, if they want to. Uh, that's absolutely fine. But yeah, uh, I'm, I'm not really a person that, well, goes by another name. <laughs> I think because my name is spelt with an F, uh, because it's Norwegian, uh, that's how it's spelt over in Norway, because uh, some family um, ties that I have, it's something that people assume I've made that up, that I'm Phil with an F uh, because I'm trying to be clever or, or fancy with them, but that is literally how I spell my name. So it kind of works. I think I don't need to come up with a name because people think that uh, my name is something that I've come up with, but I haven't. It's, um, yeah, I don't have to worry about it. But thank you for that. Diane has donated four pounds and 59 pence. So thank you for that, Diane. And Patrick has donated five pounds. Thank you for that, Patrick. And that is a straight up donation. And Vince has donated £38.22. Thank you for that, Vince. And the message is, happy birthday, Phil. That reminds me, Vince did send me a little picture, I think, on Facebook. I kind of lose track of where everything is. But, I'm, I've, hang on, I'm going to try and do something fancy here. Because... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> just as I was, and this is the problem with Facebook, just as I was looking at my messages, another message comes through. So then it, it kicks them all into a different area. And here we go. Let me see if I can grab this over on Facebook. We'll jump into Picture Corner very quickly. And this is the picture that Vince sent to me. I think yesterday. So uh, thank you for that, Vince. And it says, happy birthday. So there you go. <laughs> a brief uh, journey into Picture Corner, but now we're back. So thank you for this donation, Vince, as well. It's just that I remembered that that card and realized that we hadn't had a look at it. So Pamela donated £7.64. £7.64. pence. Thank you for that, Pamela. And the message is, happy birthday, Phil. Thanks for giving the gift of integrity and Brilliant musicianship 
to all of us year round. Uh, so, well, I do my best, but uh, yeah, thank you for even watching. Calvin has donated thirty-eight pounds and twenty-two pence, so thank you for that, Calvin. And the message is: keep doing what you're doing. We enjoy it a lot. And Julie has donated five pounds. Thank you for that, Julie. And that is a straight up donation. And Danny has donated fifteen pounds and twenty-nine pence. Thank you for that, Danny. And the message is: thanks for everything, Phil. Uh, D D Rene sixty-five. So. That's it. We've got through the PayPal donations and let me jump into the Super Chat donations because we had another few in there. Just to make sure that I don't miss any. Diamond Girl donated $5 and said, glad you had a small amount of cake. Life is short. Enjoy yourself. So thank you for that, Diamond Girl. Anna donated $20. Thank you for that, Anna. The message was a very happy birthday, Phil. Big hugs. Trouble sisters Anna and Beverly. Uh, so thank you for that and the cookie cake and all that kind of stuff. Thank you guys just in general for everything uh, that uh, you have been sending my way and all, all of the happy birthday wishes as well. Uh, the Lego bug has donated five dollars as well. Thank you for that and the message is thanks for everything. Can you do Bruce Coburn? And yes, have now, I, I'm going to say that I think Bruce is on the channel somewhere, but this is something that's also happened when people have emailed me saying, oh, can you look at this person? And then I said, oh, yeah, I've looked at um, them and it's, it's maybe years ago. And it might be the case with Bruce that it was years ago. And they say, oh, I can't find it anywhere. And then it might be one that's been copyright uh, blocked or, or um, isn't visible anymore because uh, that does sometimes happen with the old videos. So... I'll have to maybe check um, with, with Bruce. But if you search the channel, if you go to the Wings of Pegasus uh, channel page and type in search the videos there, uh, if you, yeah, uh, type in uh, Bruce's name, then, then you might see the result in there. But I'll have to double check. But thank you for that. And that's the third donation from the Lego bug in the Super Chat window. So thank you for that. Right, let's jump into tonight's Phil Jam. And this is... Uh, oh, five minutes 48. So we might actually f still finish at a sensible time. It's um, 129 uh, gem distortion, compression, lots of sustain and vibrato. Mike well has an end. Don't forget and Mike. So thank you for that, Joe. And yeah, I think if, if it's a brave man who plays without any vibrato um, all the time, it's something that I, I think... Um, yeah, vibrato, well, certainly for the way that I prefer to play is definitely a given. Oh, am I doing everything right here? Mic on, zoom out, uh, get the video going, of course. Click on that. When we're like And advert starts, of course. So we mute that. Got to wait five seconds. But this is coming from, and I don't know if, I'm assuming this is going to be heavy because of the gem and distortion and everything that um, says is required or Joe says is required. Right, so this is progressive rock guitar ballad backing track in E minor and then in brackets, King Crimson style uh, in brackets. And this is coming from Now You Shred backing forward slash jam tracks. And in that channel title, the U, the Y-O-U is in capital letters. So... Uh, there we have it. As for the levels, let me know what this sounds like so then I know uh, what to adjust. It, it's, I can't really adjust much. Obviously, I can't hear it myself, so I'll just go on what you guys say and we'll have a listen and see what this is all about. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so, well, 
five, six minutes. But this doesn't sound too heavy at the moment. It's an ending. <laughs> 
and now it's an advert. So it was just a held last chord, but there we have it. We kind of got away with that ending. It didn't quite fade out, just suddenly finished after holding a chord, but that's fine because you can start to just blend what you're playing into that finish, into that last chord. So there we have it. Uh, thank you, Joe, for sending that my way. And again, that is pro progressive rock guitar ballad backing track in E minor, and then in brackets, King Crimson style, end brackets, from now you shred backing forward slash jam tracks. And the U is in capital letters. So there we have it. I was expecting that to be almost like a really heavy shred fest. So then that's, uh, but I think it's actually more of a cleaner one in the end um, with a bit of a mix of, of the heavier tones. So uh, there we go. Right, we are going to be calling things to a close now. So thank you guys for tuning in for tonight's live stream and getting us the new record of 460 likes for tonight. Obviously, next week, we're going to be going for another new record. So if you could tune in again, that would be massively appreciated to leave that thumbs up. It really does help the channel to get out there a bit more. And yeah, for things to grow, for more people to see the channel and maybe subscribe as well. And thank you, everyone, for watching and subscribing, of course. We are going to be here with a video tomorrow night that I mentioned earlier in the live stream. So look out for that one. It's one of those that I do find very interesting to make. So we have that tomorrow night, live stream on Tuesday night, of course. So yeah, if you could tune in then, that'd be great because we're going for a new record on Tuesday as well. Uh, we're just attempting records all the time on the live streams. But yeah, if um, you can tune in on Tuesday, that would be great. That's where I will be at 11 p.m. Greenwich Mean Time. All that's left for me to say is try to stay as safe and as sane as possible in this crazy world in which we live. Uh, thank you guys for all of the birthday wishes and the donations and the things that people have sent through is massively appreciated. So yeah, a big thank you to you all. And I will catch you guys at the next one. Rock. <laughs>